Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, wanted to talk to you guys about hope. I've been doing this mastermind here for my nieces and nephews twice a week. Uh, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn and I'm learning a lot of stuff from them. Uh, they come to the table reading the book. We're talking about hope. We're talking about adversity. Um, tomorrow, Kevin Flake and my brother to retired Green Berets. Um, and Kevin was uh, injured in action, almost died, is going to give a talk on adversity. So it's been a lesson for me. And um, the thing I want to talk to you guys about today is hope. Um, we experience a lot of losses in our life, a lot, right? But the thing that we cannot afford to lose is hope, right? Hope gives us the energy, hope uh, keeps us, you know, thinking positively and thinking forward. And so um, the loss of hope is something you don't ever want to lose. So I want to talk to you about hope. Hope says yes to life, okay? We go through hard times, we experience conflict, and when we have hope, we say yes to life, right? So this is the book here, Get It For Your Teens. You can also listen to it on audio, okay? Hope fills us with energy. This is very interesting, John says. It's been said that a person can live 40 days without food, four days without water, four minutes without air, but only four seconds without hope. If you guys haven't seen this book, watch this, the movie Bethany Hamilton, uh, Soul Surfer. It's a great message on hope right now, especially with what everybody is going through, okay? So hope focuses forward. Hope helps us to focus on uh, tomorrow and the future and not yesterday, right? Because we do go through failures. We're scared right now. We don't know what's gonna happen. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty, but when you have hope, you can go, you know what? We're gonna get through this coronavirus stuff. We're, my business is gonna thrive. I'm gonna be a better person. I'm gonna be a new person and I'm gonna be renewed. So have hope, okay? Hope is a difference maker. Hope is a difference maker. Hope is the greatest lesson, is the greatest weapon we can use um, to battle our losses, okay? Hope is absolutely a difference maker. So, what does hope do for us, right? Hope looks for the lesson in defeat instead of, instead of just leaving you feeling defeated, okay? Again, get this on audio or read it with your family, okay? Hope discovers what can be done instead of what can't be done. Hope regards problems, small or little, as opportunities, okay? Hope lights a candle instead of cursing the darkness. Hope opens doors when despair closes them. Hope draws its strengths from what can be, what can be instead of what was, right? Instead of focusing on the past, we're focusing on um, the forward momentum, okay? Hope cherishes no illusions, nor does it yield to cynicism. With hope, failure is a skipping stone. Without hope, failure is a tombstone. So I wanna encourage you right now to choose hope, right? Choose hope, choose positive thinking, right? When we, we're thinking negatively, we are um, almost like manifesting negative thoughts. But when we think of hope, like, you know what? I can do this. I, can, I believe in myself. Yeah, I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it anyways because there is some really good things that are coming out of this, okay? So win some small victories. Right now, we, uh, it's hard to focus on all the, the, the big wins, but what's really great is when you actually win some small victories, which means maybe waking up, right? Today is waking up and making your bed. Uh, there is that speech that says, if you wanna change the world, make your bed every day. So get up and say, I'm gonna make my bed every day. I'm gonna move more to be more, right? Maybe you don't have the energy to bust out a crazy workout. I'm getting actually ready to run some stairs, right? I've been doing a 12-week program and I'm excited, right? I'm not feeling especially great right now either, but I have hope that with the small wins every single day of moving my body, moving more to be more, um, doing mental exercises for my mind, like 
reading books on hope and leadership and listening to positive things and not watching the news. I just don't watch the news. Um, it gives me hope, but I'll tell you one thing that will put you in a place of despair and darkness is watching the news all day long and listening to people that are scared, right? We're all scared and it's normal to be scared. It is normal. It's normal to be like, what is gonna become of me? Am I gonna have a job? Am I gonna have money? But the only thing that we can focus on and control is the present moment, okay? Is that literally the present moment is the only thing that we can control right now. And so when you have hope and you write down and say, gosh, this is what I've always wanted to do or this is what I'm gonna become or I'm gonna refine like my skills in this job or that job. I'm gonna be a better mom, this is my opportunity or I'm gonna be a better partner, I'm gonna be a better wife. I have hope that goodness, a lot of goodness is gonna come out of this and I truly believe it. I am connecting with my kids more on Zoom. We're doing church, you know, when you're dealing with some, some adult children, Sometimes I don't have time for you, right? So I have hope that you all will survive this, right? Every day above ground's a good day. And this is where our, our country has been divided for so long. And it's still divided, of course, but I also think that we're gonna come together with this, okay? So have hope. Please pass this message on to anyone that needs to hear it. Um, and as I always say, move more to be more so get up move your body move your move uh your your body just to get your endorphins going get some sun get some vitamin d and move more to be more and have some hope